So it's been a while since I looked at anything from Diecast Promotions, and in my last video I mentioned that I had something lined up for you all, and today we'll be looking at this combo set, which has a Peterbilt 379 with Mack and Dump Trailer, and this truck is actually known as the Ellen and Sons Iron Outlaw. Before we get on to looking at the truck, I do want to bring up the box real quick to show a few things. And the first thing I want to point out is that this truck was made exclusively for the National Troy Truck and Construction Show back in 2011. You can see there August 19th through the 21st, Indianapolis, Indiana. And there was actually a limited run of this set, which I'll talk about here later. But going on to the back of the box here is a little bit of information on Ellen and Sons Trucking. Uh, if you want to read any of that, you can pause the video. Uh, really hard to get everything in frame with this longer format box, but hopefully you can see all that. And other than that, I don't think there's really anything else on this box to talk about. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rig. Now I've looked at quite a few DCP items on this channel, and when it comes to these trucks, things such as small details and features are pretty much the same across everything. So I may gloss over those and I do apologize for that. But like I mentioned earlier, we have a Peterbilt 379 with Mac and Dump Trailer. And this is a 164 scale replica of the Iron Outlaw, which is owned by Ellen and Sons Trucking. But in the case of this truck here, you've got the typical things that you get from any DCP rig, such as the working steering, working suspension. The hood on this truck does open and we've got a Cummins engine in it. And I gotta say, one of the favorite things with this truck is just the color combination. Cause you can see we've got the white cab with the lime green frame. And of course it goes back on the trailer as well. You've got things such as the white fenders on both truck and trailer. And also the lime green flames over the white. You can see them here on the front, the fenders, the trailer fenders. Again, just the color combination I think is uh, really eye-catching with this truck. And then also you've got the stainless steel of the trailer, which I really don't want to touch this just because you start touching that and then you get it all smudged with fingerprints. So uh, I'd rather just not do that. But anyways, on the rig itself, again, typical details that you'd find on any truck, side view mirrors, visor, horns, Again, I really like the stacks which are on this truck. Uh, I'm not sure what the length of these is, but they're definitely taller than normal. I'm gonna unhook the trailer here because I do want to bring the rig in closer. You can see on the steps here, we do have the Ellen and Sons right there. And also, is that pride in elegance? Uh, kind of hard to read that at the moment. Uh, dot number. Yeah, really sharp looking truck now that I bring it in a little closer here. You can get a good look at all the details and such. And on the back, we do have the Iron Outlaw name. But I don't know if I really need to say too much about this. You can pretty much see it for yourself. But yeah, again, really sharp looking truck with all the details and such. And I will show the trailer here does tilt really don't want to touch the stainless, but I'm kind of going to have to. There you can see the trailer. It tilts. Uh, the rear gate does open. Uh, there's also a cold door on this as well. The tarp does come off and roll up. Again, I guess there's something on the back. I should have just put gloves on for this. Uh, not sure how well you'll be able to see that. But I think it says, we create our tomorrows by what we dream today. And again, you can just see all the little details and such. And I should show, because it is on the bottom here, there is uh, the little decal there for the toy truck and construction show for 2011. But I don't know, I think that's pretty much all I have to show with this rig. As I mentioned earlier, this truck was made in limited numbers for the National Toy Truck and Construction Show back in 2011. 
and with the set came a certificate of authenticity which you can see here that 2100 of these models were made for the show and I know for a fact that not all 2100 survived to this day because there was quite a few people actually went out and got this truck just to tear it down and make a custom with it which while some people may see that as reckless I think it just increases the value of the one I have in my collection. Another thing I wanted to mention with this truck is that I also have the mirrors that came in the set, which you pretty much get these with any DCP truck that you buy, but I also have the matching fifth wheel cover that came with this as well. So I decided to do a comparison of the Iron Outlaw next to the other end dumps I have in my collection, which honestly revealed I don't have that many. But this first set is actually a custom. I got this Peterbilt 389 from a guy who apparently got it from someone else who did a terrible job shortening the frame, but I ended up tearing it down and redoing it, and a few years later I came across this East dump trailer at a show I attended, so I picked that up to go along with this truck, and I think it's a pretty good set. But I've also got this First Gear Mac R model with the double pup trailers, and this was a set I picked up a few years back on eBay. And I've also got a similar set, another Mac R model, but this time with only one dump trailer. And I gotta say, I really like the color scheme of the black and red with this. But yeah, like I mentioned before, I don't have a lot of end dumps in my collection. Well, before I wrap up the video, I'll give my final thoughts on this set. And just my own personal opinion, I quite like this. I think this is a really sharp looking rig. It's one of those pieces that stands out in my 164 scale collection. And I would definitely recommend this to any DCP collector out there that wants something like this for their collection. Especially if you're one of those guys who enjoys collecting these limited runs that DCP does. But when it comes to price, I believe I paid $100 shipped for this set about 10 years ago now. And for the life of me, I could not find what these trucks are selling for these days. I looked all over online, checked out eBay, which apparently there hasn't been one of those on there in quite some time. But if I had to just guess, I'd say be willing to shell out at least $200 minimum for one of these if somebody knows what they have. Who knows, you may get lucky and find one at a bargain price, but that's all about being in the right place at the right time. Granted, I'm kind of glad I got my set when I did. But I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, you guys can feel free to let me know your thoughts on this set in the comments down below. Also, feel free to let me know if you've got any of the other sets that they made for the toy truck and construction shows over the years. But that's going to be all for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.